Hello, Jimmy here, and, well, I'm not happy right now, because a subscriber of mine, slash a YouTuber, which mm, has scammed one of my good friends on Racing Rivals, and uh, his name is Caption Arab. show you his name right now. This is Caption Arab. He, yeah, I'm not happy with him. He, well, he did good deals with me and one of my other friends. But then when he went to one of my good friends, well, actually they're both good friends. I should, I should. That's actually wrong of me. Um, both of my good friends. He scammed. Uh, he took his my friends. 1977 Firebird, uh, Firebird, the Stella, a Stella, this MP4 12C, this BMW M3 GT2, and, well, actually two M3 GT2s. Move that down. Yeah, he, I'm not happy with him. And what he gave him in return was... It's just a name. A friend I got scammed. He only gave him this two one M uh safety car. Yeah. The deal was that he made uh he he was going to trade all five of the five. Hold up, was it five cars? Let me check. It was one, two, three, four. Yeah, five cars. For all those, for a F1 GTR. The McLaren F1 GTR, which is not maxed. He was supposed to trade him that. But instead, he gave him that safety car instead. And, yeah, I'm not happy. Here, hold up. Let me show you a picture of me trying to talk to him. Alright, so here's the picture. He offered a Firebird for my first place Copo Camaro. And I went to his garage and checked what uh, what Firebird he was talking about. Then I saw the Firebird that my my friend Agent Main owned. Oh, whoops. It's... Oh yeah, by the way, this is his channel, Mr. Evo. Yeah. He made a video about... Yeah, that's he made a video about getting hash and, and I repeat and I quote the best the best trade ever which he it wasn't because he scammed him. He didn't uh, he didn't do a fair trade, he scammed him. So I said Firebird for Copo. I said I asked him, got it from my friend Maine, didn't you? He said yeah, we traded. He overpriced, but I loved the cars. But then he said he loved the cars. Yeah, you could see it in the comment. Say and I well because that was that used to be my Pontiac. For, before I traded to him, before I traded the main, I told him that it's actually the showroom one. And I quote, J and "This is what um, Racing Gamer Slovenia told me. It was he got it from the showroom somehow. I don't I don't know. Probably have to ask him if you want. But yeah, he he argued no, it's not." I said it's a really rare, it's pretty rare car. I said really rare, but I should have said pretty rare. Pretty rare because it's hard to get. You don't see those around. You can only see the the one you see the mo like most other than the showroom ones are the the turf ones. But don't get them mixed up. The showroom one does not have a Firebird emblem on the on the hood, but the turf one does. Anyways says I told him because I know that I know why because it's my because that was my car says and then it says tries to argue that if it's in the showroom I don't know I kind of just said it was a glitch 
But uh, to be honest, I really don't know. Just ask uh, Jerry Roger. He says, okay. And I told him, you ripped off, like, because he, um, my friend Maine was talking, telling me that he scammed him. So I said, you said, uh, I told him, he, you ripped off Maine, he's mad. He said, oh, that was the deal. And I said, well, I just talked, and I told him, I talked to him, and that's what he was, and that's what, that's not what he agreed on. Well, he says, that's not what I said. Well, I kind of just repeat what I said. Talk to him. Say that's what he didn't agree on. Don't feel bad. Then he said what he said the deal. What he said the deal. And then he uh, unfriended me, and blocked me. Hmm. Classy, um, classy move from a scammer. Yeah, that's whatever. Um, yeah, not happy, and. Try to scam you. Try to scam a friend, like try to scam a friend of mine, a good friend. Yeah. What type of what type of YouTuber does that? Honestly. Matter of fact, what type of subscriber does that? Uses uses the YouTuber as a as a leeway to scam a friend for their car. Yeah. That's all I have to say. Uh, hold up. Let me show you his YouTube real quick. Right, so this is his channel. Not many views, which don't understand. You try and scam when you're trying to raise your, really trying to raise your, um, your account up. Like, come on. Like, that's pretty stupid. See? Here's the racing rattles. Best trade of a lifetime. <laughs> best trade of a lifetime. More like, more like scam for li uh, scamming for life. Hashtag freaking little kid because he sounds like a little kid. Watch this. So yeah, that's basically his um his channel. Not a lot of subscribers, not a lot of views, but start scamming when he's trying to build up his his account, especially when he's claiming that he's legit. Funny. Claims that he's legit. And he records every trade he does. Hmm. But yeah, uh, that's just uh, my... My reaction to the... The situation. Yeah. Well, thank you guys for watching. Well, actually, before that, I have to make, make a quick announcement. Um, yeah, if you see... If Mr. Evo, or someone claims the YouTube Mr. Evo, and or like is on the account Caption Arab and uh, asked to trade with you, do not trade with him. He's just all bad, all bad. Especially when he's a kid too. He's a kid. Like you can watch his videos. It's, it's a little like, I don't know. He I don't think he even hit puberty yet. So. Probably sounds he, he sounds like a little kid. I don't know, probably twelve, thirteen, maybe. But um, yeah, don't trade with him. Yeah, that's all I have to say. Uh, so thank you guys for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.